All right, my good people, welcome back to another Xenoverse 2 video. So, um, this video is the Super Saiyan God Vegeta Mastery video, and this is just a shorter version of my previous one because my other one is like around 40 minutes long, and some people don't want to watch a 40 minute long video, although everything I say is useful information, so I definitely recommend watching it. Um, but this video is just a shorter version. Whereas I just like speed through it, so you know, but you gotta keep in mind since this is, you know, different frames in this game now, plus this is a brand new character, hasn't even been out for 24 hours yet. Um, this speed video, you like, you, you have to be like a pro to, to understand how to still use them masterfully just by watching this shorter video. But um, if you can handle that, then good. Let's uh, let's get into it. So let's go over these super attacks. Burst Stinger, pretty powerful attack. Um, it doesn't matter uh, whether you're on the ground or air. It does the same amount of damage. The only thing is it is a close rank attack, which is kind of odd since it is a key, a key blast attack. But however, you can clearly see if you're far away, it'll touch. But like if you combo into it, you clearly see it doesn't connect. So keep that in mind when trying to use it. That is a close rank attack. Uh, same thing applies to blazing attack. Um, one thing about Burst Singer though, you can use it while flying like this. So you clearly see wrestling. There you go. So basically, at times you could do this, or at other times you could just do this. So keep that in mind when using it. Also keep in mind it's unblockable, which means let's say your opponent is just mashing that guard button like their life depends on it. Uh, right there, right? So then you rush in like that. But now you can rush in. Oh, I, I did it wrong. My bad. There you go. So it turns out, as I just learned by doing it, the burst stinger. If you miss the chop, it's not unblockable. So you have to make sure that that uh, chop connects. Uh, so yeah, that's burst stinger for you, folks. Pretty self, uh, you know, self-explanatory. Even on a super attack right there. Uh, Ray blast. Ray blast works. Um, has a quite a few features. For one, it does more damage when it's in the air. Let me show you. Uh, get him in the air. There we go. Clearly see beautiful technique. It only does 2,300 when you're in the air. However, when you're either close or in direct contact with the ground, you can clearly see. Um, I, I keep forgetting. There we go. Now let's do it. You clearly see when you're either on the ground or, or very close to the ground, it definitely does more hits, which equates to uh, more damage. Uh, yeah, another thing about Ray Blast if you control the analog stick while move, so like while activating it, at any range, you can activate Ray Blast. So if you don't do it, this is what happens. You know, he's just too far away. But as long as you move that uh, analog stick, you'll teleport directly to your opponent, and you'll boom him. Uh, another thing, um, you can also do that while you're in a combo. So like, see what I'm saying? That's beautiful. Or if you're like close to the ground. Yeah, you got the longer duration version. So yeah, beautiful technique, beautiful attack. I love it. Um, yeah. So let's keep going. Uh, let's waste this key. Um, yeah. Let's get some more key. Let's waste that too. Okay. Uh, burst charge. So you can clearly see it is a form of charge technique, but it works. It works better for short for shorter durations. So basically, we you need to get that extra key bar to to pull up that ultimate. Or you need like one and a half key bars to, to, to do whatever combo you're trying to do, whether it's uh, ultimate or super attack combo. You know, this is when you use burst charge. Use burst charge because you use it in a burst form, which is a short duration, okay? But it is also, it is fast in a short duration. So, like, in a second, you can get like one and a half bar of key, you know what I'm saying? Actually, less than a second to be honest, because it's that fast. So keep that in mind when using it. It's not used. It's not recommended to be used for long. Um, for like three bars of stamp of, of key, you just use it for you know, you just need that much and then you do it. So basically, just one one and a half tops. Otherwise, it'll be you know super slow and then it'll just stop. Um, ultimate super gallic gun. Pretty good ultimate. Um, actually, no, it's a great ultimate because they buffed it. So, without being fully charged, 
It does a weeping 75, 60 damage. Get some more key back. Pull and charge it. Are you Again, ready for the damage this? doesn't matter while you're on the ground in the air. The damage is the same. 11, oh, nearly 12,000. So, yeah, that's beautiful, beautiful um, damage right there. Gorgeous technique. We're good to go. Prominence flash. Oh, my God. This is a thing. Of, oh, this is a Hey. That speaks for itself. <laughs> nah, legit speaks for itself, folks. Um, explosive wave, simply uh, evasive. You know what that is. You know how to use it. Uh, blazing attack now. Let's get into blazing attack because blazing attack activates the super soul. The super soul can only be stacked up to a max of three times. So that basically means you activate blazing attack three times. Whether it connects or not is irrelevant. As long as you activate it, you will do more damage with super and key. Well, with strike and super attacks. So that's basically what it does. You also get key faster uh, regeneration. So keep that in mind when using it. Um. Otherwise, it's just a beautiful technique, you know. Gorgeous. Uh, let's see if it's unblockable. Where's that guard? There we go. So definitely not unblockable. Uh, as you can see right there. Okay, so uh, there you go. Good to go. Now that's it on the super and ultimate attacks. Again, I'm just speeding through this way just because I know if you if you clicked on this video, you want to see some fast info. That way you can just hop into a PvP with him, um, play with your friends, that sort of thing, streaming, you know, you know the, the whole shebang. But again, if I'm going too fast for you, definitely watch my other one. Yeah, it is quite long, but as you will see it, it has a lot of information that you will find very helpful about Universe 2.5 and the the new characters and the new gameplay mechanics that sort of thing so i definitely recommend checking it out if you um if you um find this video is going a little bit too fast and you don't really think i'm being too clear believe me when i say i take my time in the other video so yeah that being said uh combos i'm not going to show you every combo i will show you uh stamina break let me see so basically his triangle combos are like stamina break you good to go with the triangle combo. I actually messed it up, my bad. Oh, okay, not that one. Hold on. Uh, there we go. I can't miss that extra triangle. So you can see that one. Feel free to take a screenshot of that input right there or this one. Actually, I'll reset it for you. That one also works just fine too. I believe he also has a one tap stamina break as well. Um, I couldn't find a heavy one yet, but if I find a new, if I find a good heavy stamina break that works, I'll be sure to uh, either put it in the comments, in the description, or I'll make a new video about it. So, but that's when I uh, find a good heavy stamina break combo. Um, other than that, so remember, you want good combos with him. Obviously, make sure you're using the cancels. Um. And, you know, key stunning, key canceling, that sort of thing. Uh, you know, again, cancel like that. Or like uh, this. Like that. You know, those are um, square square cancels and square triangle cancel. Um, but if you want powerful combos, look at that. Brings you to the ground. I can get that burst stinger. Beautiful 10k damage. Or this combo. Beautiful, almost that, that's over 6k damage right there. And then this one, gorgeous technique. Look at that, I love it. And his grab throws him to the ground. And if you're on the ground and you grab him, you combo right after. I don't think I was on the ground. Yeah, I was not on the ground. My apologies. There we go. I just want to point out the height comparison. <laughs> um. <laughs> I feel like, did they make Broly taller? I mean, but this is how it was in the anime, but damn, bro, that height comparison. Jeez. Uh, I don't even remember what I was saying. I was about to show, oh, the grab on the ground. So yeah, uh, if, as long as your boots boots are on the ground, you can clearly see right there and there. Boots on the ground, grab, combo right after. Uh, 
Another good stamina break. You can actually grab into us. Let me show you. There you go. Five squares. You know, basically like the Goku one. Um, yeah. So, all right, folks. That's a wrap for this video. Again, I wanted to keep it fast, rapid. That way you can just, you know, get some quick content and take care of the rest of your own. If you want more detailed version, check out my other one because that is a much more detailed version. But otherwise, I hope you found this useful. I hope you enjoyed it, that sort of thing. And feel free to leave any questions, comments, concerns in the comment section down below. And I'll see y'all in the next video. This?